What's up guys? It's your girl Leslie, aka Paint Me Pretty, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Followers Friday, where every Friday I choose one of my Instagram followers. I will go ahead and link her Instagram down below in the description box and place it on the screen in various places in this video. So if you want to see how I got this look and who we followed today, then please keep on watching. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Leslie. Welcome to my channel. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make it rain with those thumbs up and turn on your notifications so you don't miss when I upload. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. So today we're going to be primarily working out of Laura Lee's Party Animal Palette and the BH Cosmetics Supernova Palette, as well as, you know, a few little things thrown in here and there. Let's start with the Party Animal Palette. My eye has already been primed. On a fluffy brush, we're going to go in with a damage control. We're going to use this as our transition shade. Look how pretty. Ooh. Shout out to you, Miss Thing. I'm loving a neon blue moment. That's why I chose her look. It was different. Well, I mean, different for me. You know what I mean? And of course, <laughs> so she basically did a halo eye. So we'll be going back and darkening these colors out. This basically is just for placement right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let's go into, hang, uh, I was going to say hangover. <laughs> Where did you see that? Oh, that was purple. <laughs> We're going to go into karaoke on another fluffy blending brush and put that right underneath damage control. Right here. It's about half in the crease and half on damage control. These colors are so pretty. At first, I didn't think I had any like neon y colors. So I was going to use, you know, Old Faithful James Charles palette and Take Me Back to Brazil. And then I was looking through my palette and I was like, yeah, Laura Lee's palette. So it ended up being perfect. Damn near a good match. Now I'm not sure what palette she used, but I got as close as I could with what I had to work with. I actually think it turned out fairly similar. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I actually did go into one color from the Morphe palette, the Morphe 35V palette. So I went in with the darkest blue in this palette and we're gonna put this in the crease. She did have a little bit of black in hers as I noticed, so we will be using the black from this palette as well. The Black in the James Charles palette is just a little bit too black for this look, if that makes sense. It was just added for a teeny tiny bit of definition. So yeah, guys, I'm so pissed about my wannabe Wednesday footage and iMovie. Like, what the fuck? I have not had an issue with iMovie until now. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to skip it this week, obviously, but we will be back next week with Wannabe Wednesdays. Okay, I'm going to go back to Laura Lee and Damage Control. We're going to go back and blend over the top. Use this to blend out that blue, the edges. my gosh, and I was so excited to see that her shadow went all the way up to her eyebrows. 
You guys know that's my favorite thing to do. Like, that's good for now. I really need to stop <laughs> doing that. I don't know. It's like bothering me. All right, so I'm going to cut the crease using my NYX White Shadow Base, and I'll be back. Okay, crease is cut. Now we're going to start working on the inner and outer corners of our eyes. I just realized that my shirt is navy blue. I'm doing a neon blue. Okay, let's get into karaoke again. We're going to start packing that on the inner and outer. And I'm placing this very strategically. Let me take a smaller brush to get up into that area that the big brush won't get. Don't worry about this up here. We're going to take care of that. It'll all work out all together now in the end. Yes, good job. I'm just taking the first blending brush we, no, the second blending brush we used and just kind of smoothing this out. Okay, now we're gonna add just a little bit of black, not too much. What brush did I use for that? Aha. I'm going to take the black out of the Morphe palette and build this up slowly. Let me grab a clean fluffy brush and just blend. Guys, I'm just so annoyed. I'm so bummed. I worked really hard on this week's Want to Be Wednesday. It, honest to God, took me two days. Two full days to edit that. It's all fucking gone. And I tried everything on the internet <laughs> that was recommended to get it back. No such luck. Let's go back into Lorley. We're going back into karaoke. Yes, we are, good buddy. Karaoke brush, where are you? Where are you? You? No. Uh, you, sure. <laughs> Just add that back. I'm feathering the edges just a teeny bit into the halo. We're going to go up where we have a little bit of the shadow base in the crease and cover that up. That looks nice. As you can see, I'm concentrating most of the color farthest to the edges. Perfect! I'm going to take my little Elsie Box White Loose Pigment. And we're going to put that in the middle. And I am bringing it up here because I want to be able to see it over my lashes. At least that little part, you know. You know what I mean? That's all we're going to need from that. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Coconut. Coconuts don't look like this, so I don't understand. Finger first. Look how pretty. Mm. 
and right over the blue. The blue, did I really say that? Right over the white. So you gotta be thinking about things after I say them. I'm gonna take a brush for the rest of this. These definitely work better with your finger, but I can't get up in here with my finger. All right, next, next, I'm gonna add some white from the Supernova palette, the white shimmery shade on a wet brush. So we're gonna grab Pegasus. I'm gonna give it a little spritz and we're gonna put that right over the blue. Again, taking a small brush to get into the corner, back into Pegasus, spritz and go. I'm gonna be going over the part where I went too high up here with some more blue. And then one more time into Laura Lee, into damage control on top of this. Take the dark blue on an eyeliner brush and we're going to kind of fix the halo, the outside of the halo. I'm going to start making a line and kind of laying down the road map like I always say. We'll lay it down first and then we'll fine tune it. Simba, why are you running around the room like a madman? All my animals are out of control today. Aren't we in retrograde right now? That explains it if we are. That explains why my files got corrupted. I'm going to blend over the top of that with damage. No, I'm lying with karaoke. <laughs> this is the time to be picky and detail oriented. <sighs> Crap. Me and this high do not get along ever, I'm telling you. I'm going to take a little bit more of the ColourPop shadow because I need to go a little bit higher. Put it on, take it off. Put it on, take it off. And when I say take it off, I mean by accident. That looks better. I'm happy with that. We're gonna take some black, just a little bit to darken up the center of the halo. That's what she looked like she did in her picture. Now mind you, when I'm doing my followers looks, I'm just going based off of the picture. So I have to figure out for myself what they did and how they did it, which I actually find to be kind of fun. It's, it's definitely a challenge. Just smoothing out these edges. Grab your fluffy brush from the beginning and let's blend the corner. It's okay to swirl in the corners, but when you go across the top, I would recommend just going back and forth. And we're gonna be cleaning this up. I was about to use a sponge, no. With concealer, of course. So underneath, I smudged damage control 
and connected it with our outer V. I don't particularly enjoy these kind of colors on my lower lash line, like darker colors, but I do it for the gram. <laughs> Sweet. So at first I started to put on my fine glitter and then I realized that she had chunky glitter on. So then I added my chunky glitter. So that's the same process I'm going to do on this side simply because I did it on the other side. I'm going to take my hard candy glitter glue and just place that along the inside. You know what? No. No. Mm -mm. We are going to do concealer first before I do this. Yes. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I finished off the rest of my face except for the glitter because I wanted to do this with you guys. <laughs> so now we're going to get to the best part of the makeup. I'm going to put a little bit of glitter glue right here, just under your inner corner. And I'm going to put some of the fine teal glitter there first. Ah, oh, glitter and lashes just change everything. Oh, that's all I need in life, glitter and lashes. I'm going to add a little bit more glue to place the chunkier glitter. Now my chunky glitter has like random shapes in it, circles, hearts, stars, whatnot. So it's just like a grab bag. Whatever I dip my <laughs> brush in and come out with is what I get. Got some stars. I want to get one of those circle things. Let me try. No, I keep just getting stars. I want a circle thingy because I have a circle thingy over here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a circle thingy. I got it. Yay! Okay, so now the look is completely think that we got her look down really well. I will leave the link to her Instagram down below in the description box. Go check out her work. Go show her some love because she's got some really good looks on her page. All right, so that is the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe before you leave if you haven't and turn on that notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't tell you when I upload and I'll be sad and you'll be sad. All right, my pretties, go slay your day. See my pretty young thing and I do anything for